popping YouTube. What's popping YouTube? It's your boy Straight Rebel coming back at you with another reaction video. I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend, man. It's Sunday night. It's basically, it's you know the end of the weekend. So I hope everybody made it home safely. I hope everybody made it home without no issues. You know, can uh, getting them and uh, catching them Z's and getting ready to catch some Z's before you got to go to work tomorrow. And if you got tomorrow off, hey, good for you. Even better for you, man. But um, I hope everybody's, like I said, doing good. Enjoy their weekend with their family, friends, or whatever you're doing, even if you're by yourself. Hope you're good. We got this video to get into. Hope y'all was able to watch those other two videos I was able to upload, too. We've been out for a week, but, you know, I'm about to get back on with these videos for y'all. We're going we gonna to jump into uh, some more different types of videos, too, not just police videos, people getting pulled over. I'm going to try to get into some other type of things, other different, like, maybe, like, shows that we've seen, you know, or, like, little court cases and stuff like that. But this one right here, we're going to have, uh, you know, traffic stop type shit. And this one is going to be a traffic stop turn into a massive drug bust, man. So, yeah, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> that's crazy. It's, all, it's always it's always crazy, and it's always the good ones when you when they just go from a little simple traffic stop and they turn into something totally different that it didn't need to turn into. But no further ado, let's get into it. Comment, like, subscribe, mainly subscribe. I appreciate all the comments and stuff like that. I'm trying to get these subscribers up, so yeah, subscribe and share this and get this out to people. Get the algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get into this video, y'all. Yeah. In the fall of October 2023, the DEA began an investigation after being tipped off through a confidential source. The tip alleged that a woman named Latasha Weatherspoon was repeatedly flying from California to Indiana in an effort to transport large amounts of crystal meth through commercial airline flights. However, Latasha's luck ended when undercover DEA agents observed her and two other women picking up suitcases and getting into a rental car from the airport. Wow. Here's what happened next. And I bet people don't think that... Oh, sheesh. Sorry about that. But I bet you people don't think like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, you gotta literally watch out for stuff like that. Like, dead ass like especially like they said they're making trips back and forth repeatedly that off whip is a no-no off whip is a no-no and if you're gonna go back and forth to a different place from where you're from i'm pretty sure the best thing to do is not always take a plane hey if you can drive maybe you should drive maybe if you could take a train maybe you should take a train the plane Understandable, you can take a plane, but nine times out of ten, it's not always best to do the same thing, keep on going back and forth. And especially if it's two of y'all, two of the same people, it just look, it just looks suspicious and weird. I'm sorry, I don't care what nobody says, unless you got a family down there and it, or you going and you going down there for uh, weddings and funerals and or to see people and stuff like that. That's different. But if, if you go on, if you go on there and then coming back real quick, oh yeah, they already got you. It's ugly. If you ain't nobody going back and forth like that, that quick. Let's see if you got family. I don't care who you is. Morning, ma'am. How you doing? Not too bad. You got your license and registration with you? Well, it's okay. Uh, just uh, anything with a van or whatever. I don't know. Are you in a hurry this morning? Are you heading somewhere? Yeah, we're going to a funeral. Oh, to a funeral. Yeah. Who's no, funeral? No, we're at. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, that might work. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right. It's all right. Um, back at I believe it's Bridgeport. Uh, when you come on to Washington Street, mm -hmm. um, you roll through the stop sign and come to a complete stop. Um, you're, I'll try to get you. You're good. Um, give me just a second. Let me run everything. How are we doing today? Thanks out for a second. Where y'all headed to? Yeah. A funeral? Yeah, we just landed and we don't know where we're at yet. Uh, where are y'all coming from? Airport. Like, I, I get that. <laughs> what, what state? Uh, 
California is my cousin from Chicago. Okay. Alright. How long y'all staying? Y'all got a ton of luggage. A week. Yes. A week? Okay. Well, I'm staying a week. They're staying. Yeah. Okay. We got a funeral to be at. Okay. Hang tight. Yo, did you peep that? He just got the the dog got the cop car and just instantly walked the car the dog around the car just like instantly like let me right good. Yep. Uh -huh. Man, is this window rolled down? I don't know. You got one back here, too. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. What am I step out of the car for, sir? Dog indicated. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. Okay, what? Step out of the car for me. Step out of the car. See, this is... <laughs> situations like this. Now, imagine a situation like this. If they didn't have nothing, and they decided to sue, bruh, this could be a big old fat lawsuit because for one they didn't they didn't tell them why they told them why they would get why they pulled them over for but they didn't walk back up to the car with no ticket they and in every video that i've watched whenever they do a canine they always ask they always ask if they can do that first for one and they ask if Oh, if we, if I do walk my canine, it's not going to detect anything, is it? That was like some real on a low, like, like, like scammy type stuff. Like, cause like they didn't say nothing. And it's like the cops are supposed to say the cops are supposed to, you know, follow by certain rules. You can't just, you can't just go up and do some random stuff like that. They literally got the dog out the car, walked them up. He he hit supposedly, and then walked them back, and they were, and they basically told the other cops like, "Yeah, we hit, go go get her." Type shit. That's what they basically did, and that's why they looking like, "Why do we gotta get out the vehicle?" Even though they probably know they got stuff in the car, but it's like, "Why do we gotta get the vehicle?" You didn't even tell us the reason, and, and and on top of that, you you not stopping whatever you said they did. That's not enough of a reason to pull them out of their vehicle. To check them. All right, come on, bro. This is insane. Just keep your hands where I can see them. You can leave everything in the car. Turn around, face that way. Put your hands on your back. I'll explain everything here in just a second. You're not under arrest at this time. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for what's me. Going on? Put, put, go ahead and put your phones in there for me. Can for I, a minute. Forward, I don't know what's going on. It's so, bad. all right, I got a narcotic dog, and he alerted that there's a presence okay, of odor. Can I, can I? Just put your phones down. Yeah, I'm like, can I record whatever? Yeah, you can record whatever you want. You can put it on record, but yeah, I actually just I don't leave know it there. What's going on. You ain't got no weapons on you, nothing no, like that. On okay, me. all right, just turn around for me real quick. You're not under arrest. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained, okay? Oh, why am I being detained? Because our my dog alerted on the vehicle that there's a presence of narcotics. Yeah, you did. All right, step on back here for me. I'm gonna put you next to this car because it's warm. Okay, you just put your hands on the hood. Keep your hands warm. Yo, that's it. Like going inside. Yo, she's right. They didn't stop. They didn't stop her because of. They didn't stop her because of no, uh, no, no stop sign. They stopped her because they already knew, and they already more likely peep game. And when they was coming in, they probably just used them cameras. I mean, come on, all this stuff is ran by computer. So you can tell when people get in from their flight, you can tell when the plane lands. And I'm pretty sure all you got to do is be like, oh, they, they came from right here and follow them with a camera, bro. Like this ain't like, I'm trying to like, people, they try to make it seem like this is like so impossible. But it's like the cameras nowadays, <clears throat> like we're, yeah, we're not, I'm not going to say we're like on, a, on China level and stuff like that where they have like, where they have it, where they have like face, uh, face recognition or like, you know, I didn't like how basically it is able to like recognize your face easier. Cause I mean, I'm not sure I've already seen, but you know, you see like 
movies and stuff like that. And they show the camera view and all the Facebooks all like kind of like game, like video game type shit because of it, it not being because of the pixels and stuff like that. Nowadays it's totally different. Nowadays you can you can you can see somebody with their face down to the down to the t shirts that they wear, to the socks that they wear, to shoes, all that. It's like, bro, like that's just like <laughs> the whole thing of them just walking the dog up to the car is crazy insane. But like I said, they already knew that they was coming in. So they they basically I'm pretty sure they followed them. They followed them on the camera. I'm pretty sure they have cameras in the parking lot. So they followed them out there. And they, they called that shit in. Dead ass. Dead ass. Step back here. Yep. Just put it right there. Let a little bit of heat come out of there because it is cold out. I'm going to have you step out, okay? You ain't got no guns, nothing like that? No, sir. Okay, go ahead and step out, Danny. Cuffs? Yeah, I just. Oh, three of them. So, no, I don't. Uh, you're just being detained. You're not under arrest, okay? So um, all three of them part of it or just presence of narcotics. Uh, so we're gonna search your vehicle. If there's nothing in there, then y'all are free to go. Yeah, in Indiana, if a police dog alerts on a vehicle, that's probable cause to search the vehicle. Is there anything in the vehicle that shouldn't be in there? Right, read them, Miranda, first. Are we gonna find anything illegal in the in the bags? Not that you know of. No, I only have a carry-on. So. You only have a carry-on. Okay. Yes, so my dog, he is trained on six odors of narcotics, cocaine, crack, heroin, ecstasy, meth, and marijuana. With this being a rental car, fairly new, I'm assuming there's no odor in the vehicle other than what you all brought into it. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Can I talk to you real quick? Where are you guys coming from? We are coming from LA. We're running from LA. I think she's in Ohio. We just wanted to protect you from life. How do you know them? That's my cousin, and that's the person that died that we from. That's what? Girlfriend, the person that died. Okay. Are you in relation to the girl up there? That's the girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Are you, re to are you related to that person up there? No. Okay. When's, when's the funeral? Huh? When's the funeral? It's today. Oh, today? Okay. Can you type for me right here? How do you know the other two? We're like really close friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. who, who was it that passed away? Our cousin. We call him our cousin. Oh, okay. How do you know her up there? Cousin. Cousin. When's, when's the funeral? In two days. In two days? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you got time. Oh, so my you Lord. Waiting too long. I just don't want you guys to be laying around. He played the fuck out them. He played the fuck out them. And that's why whenever you do a crime, and if you're gonna do a crime with somebody, y'all gotta y'all gotta discuss the the making it and the part when if y'all if if y'all don't make it and y'all get stopped in this type of situation, because y'all gotta make sure that y'all stories add up. Regardless, though, them finding drugs in this car is going to kill. It's not going to, the whole, the whole funeral thing is, is going to go wide out the window. That's just going to get hit. As soon as them drugs pop up, them drugs going to be like a tornado. And it's going to just smack, smack out that, that funeral excuse right out the window real quick. And they, they ain't going to have nothing to say. And <laughs> he said it was today. And then she just said, it's in two days. And she said, oh, it's my cousin. Bruh. Y'all got to get y'all story straight when y'all do stuff like this. Dang, we can smell it. I can smell it now. Here, grab, grab that corner and pull. No. Oh, something just dropped. Tampon. That's heavy, though. I don't know if that's weird or not. Can't all be weird. All right. That's that. crystal. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. That's a bunch of crystal. Wow. So we're good on this bag. I got everything there. Oh man, that's heavy. Let me get a picture of that when came out there. Bruh. And you telling me that all these were... Take a picture real quick for you. Wow. 
right. That, my dear, is Crystal Master. So these must have all been... These must have all been bags that went under the plane. Mm-hmm. All right. Next. So here's here's the deal, okay? Uh, I don't know if you see, the, but they're getting bundles of narcotics out of the bags, okay? I talked to other people, and they claim the other bags aren't theirs, okay? Here's the thing. I understand sometimes people, they get they in a money sit. situation where, hey, they, need, they get down on luck. Bruh, that's why. That's why. <laughs> That's why I can't stand the cops. We can stand. These are some cold. These are some cold mofos because they will literally sit there and lie and say something just to get just to get an answer out of you. Literally, just to get an answer out of you, so they can so they can be done with whatever they can be done with whatever is going on in that situation. Because at the end of the day, the only the only thing that they want to do is catch the people and figure out what happened, and that's it. Because then after you, after you catch the people and you figure out what happened, that's the whole that's that's the whole story. There's nothing else to figure out. All you need to figure out who did it and why they did it. That's that's literally the only reason you gotta really find out. Have a time why they did it don't even fucking matter because who did it, the person whoever did it. Is going to jail and going to face some years. <laughs> Literally, that's the only thing that matters. Whatever, so they feel like they need to do something. That doesn't mean somebody's a bad person. I just want to know what your story is. My story is, my father is in law enforcement. Um, I grew up very in a shelter community. So what happened today? Today, I'm um, just with my cousins going to a funeral. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you right there, okay? The funeral story is BS, because I talk to everybody individually. Okay. Nothing matches up. All right. So we can start over. What's going on today? No, you know, dude. I know that's not true. Okay. You know so it's BS. You if you know story is BS, call it out. Um, with my cousins. You came with your cousins. Mm -hmm. So where's the narcotics going? Because that's what I'm concerned about. Now. I have no idea. Okay. So how did you end up here? Are you getting paid to bring this? Um, you get a little bit, I'm sure. I literally don't know what else is going on. Are you getting paid or anything? Or? Um. No. Because they're claiming all these bags are yours. No. Okay? Alright. That's not the case. I need to get a good picture. Yeah. Do they really say it? No question. Yes, ma'am. That's a whole luggage. Does that affect everybody? You said what now? They, the guy just told me that that is crystal meth in her luggage, right? There was crystal meth in every one of the suitcases. Yeah, but the guy, none of that is not. Like they told them I have all orange bags. Does that affect me? Be hey, honest so. with you, I don't know. It's going to be up to the I'm courts. I'm a parent. Yeah, I don't, I don't do this. Wait, so I'm being arrested? I don't know if you're being arrested or yeah, not. I'm like, I don't have it. They just went through all my stuff. I don't were any of the big bags, um, the girl that's up in the front? They're hiring because she's there for two weeks, but she wanted to check free. What's her name? Uh, Christine Enriquez. Yeah, like two or three of the big bags are hers. Christine Enriquez, Marlene Richardson. Yeah, all of the bags are tagged to all of us so that she could get free stuff. It's hers in there. She can only take two bags free and she's snapping two. Okay, I gotcha. Only just... thing mine is orange luggage. I told you guys that when you first put us over. Okay, so this one is hers. They're all hers. I close. Look at the Well, this one's this one's tagged uh, yeah, Marlene she Richardson. Yeah, because free. She needed to check extra stuff. She's staying two bags a piece, so we let her check. But only thing that's mine is that in my fashion over outfits and orange bag. Okay. I don't have anything with me. I don't do whatever that is they do. I don't mind. What name's that one? Okay. What's up? Can I call my mom? Yo. Everybody's saying this prep's not theirs. Okay, that's fine. So they they can because she's trying to say yeah that's that's her name but she was using it for free luggage or whatever. Problem is your name's on it. So and also for free luggage then the dope's in the middle of the luggage. Right. So we know which bags the dope came out of. Yep. Right? Yep. I, I got I got each ID. Yep. Who's who's? Plus it's on camera. So each she thought she was slick, and I and I ain't gonna lie. I literally thought she was about to get away with it, dead ass. I thought she was about to get away with it. Like, I thought they were going to be like, okay, we understand where you're coming from. Because the fact that she's still standing out, she's still, like, out of the cop car. The fact that she was able to walk over there, as I was like, who was that walking over to the cop talking? Oh, that, like, oh, that's one of the girls that's in the cop car because she got her hands behind her back. But, I mean, at the same time, This situation, it does feel kind of like one of those weird, not weird, but it's like, if, if, 
if what she's saying is true, this is a very, a very fucked situation for her. Because if they're really, say for instance, if they're really going to a funeral, I feel like, I feel like two of the girls that's in there are the ones that's, you know, doing this, they, they selling and getting rid of the stuff. Her, she don't, see, I'm not going to put it past, don't put it, can't put it past nobody. But she don't see that type of person that's dibbling down in, in, in that and, or trying to sell it. That's just my, that's just my observation. I could be wrong. But if it, if it, if it is that situation, she's fucked, like I said. Cause like they said, her name's on it, and the dope is in there. So, regardless if you want to go get it back for free, da, 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 like it don't it don't matter. Like that's just what it is, you know. At the end of the day, shouldn't shouldn't been doing anything with that type of stuff. Period. This person had dope in their bags. They they all had their name on them. Had dope in them, right? Yeah, hundred percent sure. Name, 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 and different name. names. Different yep. names, all of them, right? Yep. So yep. all of them have a bag with their dope in it. Yeah. They all said that they're going to a funeral. However, when I asked them the day of the funeral, they all gave me different dates. She said I tomorrow. Uh, one of them said tomorrow. I have to double look the camera. One, one of them said, said two tonight. days, and one of them said today. And then the other one's like, well, the wakes today. Um, okay. One of them identified all themselves as cousins. I just said their stories were inconsistent. Yeah. Uh, she the driver. Oh, Oh, yeah. They were cousins of two in front, and now they're friends, right? Yeah. What did I tell I you? I'm a public figure. I have two million social? followers on Instagram. She been talking to that man for 30 minutes. I know police. When a police officer like take the liking to one person and keep talking, it's because that's the one that's on top. Oh. I was trying to get the bald head dude attention. Uh, that dude on the right? Yeah. Um, what I'm finna say, I can't say on a fucking body cam. You want to talk to him again? Hey, your body cam, it's gonna get, I can't, I can't have this on record. Let me, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bring him back. Hold on. The people who start with a C, you read between the lines? The people who start with a C? Okay. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, give me a second. Thank you. No problem. What is she on? Oh. You said you want to talk real fast? Yep. Well, I didn't want to talk to them because they have body cam and my safety matters. Right. Um, Now's your shot. So, if I told you that there were more people coming to them with way more what happens that's good anything you can tell me would be cooperative if you knew where they were taking it that would be no, good i don't but i know that she has previous dealings with people who start with a c from mexico okay and she it. being tasha yeah so she has ties to the cartel tasha or tasha does, tasha does. if somebody bruh are you serious is this why i say be cautious of who you do stuff with or just do it by yourself. She is literally about to sit here and try to snitch her, snitch her out and try to give up the cartel. But it's like, <laughs> and you trying to give up the cartel. Okay. But do you understand that the cartel will do anything by any means to come and kill you? Well, I mean, I'm sorry. But they'll do anything by their means to come and take you out? The cartel don't play about nobody. They don't care if you're a little kid. Or a baby, I'm sure. And at the end of the day, it's you brought that on yourself. What makes it even worse? But it's, <laughs> it's like you can't be <laughs> a man. You can't be a part of it and then all of a sudden want to snitch and, and try to give up just so you can save your, just so you can save yourself. Like, no, nah, that's not, that's, that's not how it works nowadays. You can't be doing that. Either you're going to have to stick with it or just not do it. Just just not be part of that. And like I said, whoever whoever orchestrated that <laughs> needed to fix some better friends. Cause bruh, they broke under. She broke under pressure. I don't I don't I don't know I don't know how she broke under pressure so damn quick. But bruh. And is and I feel like you're she's part of it because she's sitting there saying, 
what if I t what if I tell you that she's gonna meet more people, there's more people in included on this and stuff like that. So you're a part of it now too because you know about it and you coincided and went with it. That makes you an accessory, dummy. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Talk to me. I can give them that, and I know who else they was meeting. I know who else was coming because they were dropping me off and wanting to meet these people. I was going to my Airbnb. I can give you all of that. Will I be home by Christmas? Where is it that? coming tomorrow? SDF. Okay, Louisville. Is that, that's SDF, correct? Yep. Okay, do you know who's bringing it? Yep. Okay, let me get on the phone. Hold on. I'm Sean. Hi, Sean. How are you? My name's David. It's Dave. Hi, Dave. I'll get Sean, Dave, law enforcement. You got 100 pounds of crystal methamphetamine and some bags. It's three of you guys. The state police called us here. So, how did the bags get in your car? You're the, I don't know what's you in were their, the driver of the yeah, car. Yeah, I don't know what's in their bag. You don't know what's. So, those bags are not yours, they're theirs. Oh, man. Yeah. Everybody's flicking on each other. I don't see who's whose. Who's. I don't know. I don't, it's nothing. not mine. It right. okay. has nothing to do with me. So, Everybody yeah, just flip on each other, man. Okay. This is insane. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> they just going down a lot. The substance is later tested positive for crystal meth and weighed over 112 pounds. <laughs> Latasha Weatherspoon, Marlene Richardson, and Christina Enriquez were then all charged with a felony count of dealing meth weighing 10 or more grams. Delta Airline passenger flight records showed that Weatherspoon has transported drugs through the Indiana airport at least seven times in 2023. Wow. Christina also confessed that Weatherspoon paid her between $1,000 to $2,000 oh. per trip, yes. leading prosecutors to believe Latasha was the leader behind this scheme. Latasha and her crew face up to life in prison if they're convicted. That's why I said, watch who you, watch who you do your crime with, bro. Watch who you, because then she was still sitting there snitching, saying, oh, the guy was paying me this price. It don't matter. I'm sorry. <coughs> Once they find out that you are part of it, that's all they care about hearing. I mean, yeah, the other information is all cool and dandy to hear, but the fact that you said, Blah 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 blah. I'm a part of it. I do this. This is my part. That's all they care about. Cause you sealed your fate right there. You sealed your fate instantly right there. All bad. <laughs> Trying to be slick about it. This shit crazy, bro. Man, <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all feel about this one though. Cause man, that. So it's, it's sad. I literally only thought it was two people, but it turned out being three. And then each person turned on to the other the other two people, which is crazy. I ain't never seen it like that ever in my life. But y'all let me know what y'all feel, what y'all thoughts are in the comments. Hit that subscribe, like, and I'll catch you on the next one.